Welcome to Math Cafe. Enjoy Math Sip by Sip. In this video, we are going to see integration by using trigonometric identities. Hope you have watched the previous video in which we have discussed even powers of sine and cos, tan, c, cosec, cot, etc. In this video, we are going to see integration by using trigonometric identities in which we are dealing with odd powers of sine or cos. Let us see how the integration works. Suppose I need to integrate sine cube x dx. There is one straightforward method or a particular method is that you have to convert sine cube x by using sine 3x formula and then do the integration. Use sine 3x formula, convert sine cube x and then integrate it. Instead of that, I am going to share with you a general technique which will work for every odd power of sine or cos. Here what we do see this power is 3. Look at the power. Always the power should be separated as plus 1 format. What I mean is that 3 could be written as 2 plus 1. If it is 5 we will write 4 plus 1. 7 means 6 plus 1 like that. So the first step is that I am changing it as sine square x into sin x dx. Once you separated a single power this sin x dx never touch again this term the single power expression. Now what we need to do the next step is that this power sin square x should be changed by using the basic identity as 1 minus cos square x sin x dx. Whatever be the term comes here that must be changed by using the basic identity. Now can you see here 1 minus cos square x sin x dx. How do we proceed from here? Simple thing. What is the derivative of cos x? Sin x dx, right? Let we use the substitution again. Let t equal to cos x and that gives differentiating on both the sides dt equal to minus sin x dx. And you have clearly a sin x dx here. Therefore, you can say sin x dx could be replaced by negative dt. Now, I'll go back to the integration again. We have here 1 minus t square into negative dt. The cos x I replaced by t, that is it is 1 minus c square into negative dt. So I am opening with a negative sign, so this is positive t square minus 1 whole dt. Integrate t square integral is t cube by 3, integral stands for increasing or i, so t cube by 3 minus t plus c. Replace the t, what was t? We have taken t as cos x, so this is cos cube x by 3 minus cos x plus c. That's what our answer. Let us see another example. Integral of sin cube x cos raised to 4x dx. Now comes the confusion. There is an odd power. There is an even power. Now which method I will use? Don't worry. Whenever you have odd power is existing, always we go with odd power. If you have two terms and if one of the powers is an odd approach is always the odd approach. Never use the even approach at all. Same technique. Here I will write sin square x sin x cos raised to 4x dx. The odd power splitting as 1 and the left over. Now rewrite the question. Sin square x should be written as 1 minus cos square x into cos raised to 4x into sin x dx. Have you noticed something? I have pushed my sin x to the last because I have already in my mind what am I going to use the substitution? Continue with the same. Let t equal to cos x. Then differentiating dt equal to minus sin x dx. That's what here I wrote last sin x dx. So sin x dx is equal to what? Negative dt. Go back the question again. I will become 1 minus t square into t to the power 4 into negative dt. Simplify further. This will become t square into t raised to 4, t raised to 6. And 1 into t raised to 4 and negative, that will be t raised to 4 dt. And when I am integrating this, t raised to 6 means what? t raised to 7 divided by 7 minus t raised to 5 by 5 plus c. Hope you remember the basic identity. Integral of x raised to n dx is x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. That's what we are using. Now replace the t. What was t taken as like cos raised to 7x? by 7 minus cos raised to 5x by 5 plus c because t was cos x. Now that is the logic in any expression if we have a odd power and an even power and both are odd power what we will do? Check the next question. Suppose we have cos cube x into sin raised to 7x dx. How do we start? Again here you can change one of them 
say I'm changing cos cube x as cos square x into cos x. The logic is that if the expression has one of the term is an old power that you should change. Either you can change 3 or 7 both will work and this is easier that is I use this one as the change. Sine raised to 7x and cos square x I can write 1 minus sine square x into cos x dx. Now clearly the substitution t equal to sine x dt equal to what cos x dx. Therefore the integral will become what t raised to 7 into 1 minus t square into dt or this is t raised to 7 minus t raised to 9 dt. Let us integrate by using the basic rule. t raised to 7 means what? t raised to 8 by 8 and minus t raised to 9 means what? t raised to 10 by 10 plus c. Change the t. What was t? Sine raised to 8x by 8 minus sine raised to 10x by 10 plus c that's what our final answer. Now this is the type old powers of sine or cos. Whatever the old power happens because of the 3, 5, 7 etc. You separate 3 as 2 plus 1 or 5 means 4 plus 1 and change this into the basic identity and get the answer that is what is the technique. Let us see the next question c cube x into tan x dx. How do we integrate? Here also we will use a very similar way c cube x can be written as 6 square x into c x tan x. Correct? Again splitting 3 as 2 and 1. 6 square x into c x tan x. Now how do we do next step? Very clear. Once you know the technique these questions are so silly. Just take let t equal to c x. What is its derivative? C x tan x dx. Right? What will happen to the integral now? See the C x became t. So it is integral t square and the C x tan x dx is what dt. Don't take the entire 6 square x that will not help you at all. So integral t square dt that is equal to what? t cube by 3 plus c. What is t? We have taken a C x. This is C cube x by 3 plus c. That's what our final answer. Let us see one similar question tan cube 2x sec 2x dx. How do we integrate? Same technique tan cube x will be written as what? tan square 2x into tan 2x into sec 2x dx. And again here you can't directly use tan square x as substitution because derivative of tan x is what? sec square x and you don't have a sec square x here. And this term is what? tan x sec 2x. That will not help. How do we proceed? tan square x you write what? sec square 2x minus 1 into tan 2x sec 2x dx. Now separate into 2 this will become what? sec square 2x into tan 2x sec 2x dx. Please don't make it as sec cube 2x and tan x then it will not help you that's your writing same thing as it is minus integral of tan 2x sec 2x dx. So I separated as two different integrals sec square 2x into tan 2x sec 2x dx minus tan 2x sec 2x dx. Now can you integrate the second integral? It is directly formula and how do you integrate the first integral? We need to use substitution. The substitution is like this way. Let t equal to sec 2x. Then differentiating this is sec 2x tan 2x into 2 dx. And as you see we have sec 2x tan 2x dx is in the question and this will become what dt by 2. You can observe here tan 2x sec 2x dx is what now dt by 2 and this will become what d square by 2. Hence the integral will change it as t square into half dt minus this term is second integral is as it is sec 2s tan 2x dx and we are not using any substitution for that. Now this will become 1 by 2 t cube by 3 minus sec x tan x is sec 2x and as the coefficient is not 1 so divided by 2 plus c. Now replace the t c cube 2x divided by 6 minus sec 2x by 2 plus c. And here the formulae please keep in mind basic identities like tan square x equal to 6 square x minus 1 and quad square x equal to cos 6 square x minus 1 to complete this section. Thank you for watching. Met Cafe. Hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe and share. The next video will continue with more questions based on integration by using trigonometric identities.